Phenylketonuria, or PKU, is an inherited genetic disorder negatively affecting an individual's metabolism. In the United States, PKU occurs in one in every 10,000 to one in every 15,000 newborn babies. Newborns are screened for many rare conditions soon after birth, and if necessary, treatment is started immediately. PKU is one of those conditions, and due to early detection, severe cases of PKU are rare. In this video, we will learn more about phenylketonuria by discussing causes, signs and symptoms, the diagnosis process, and treatment and management practices. Phenylketonuria is caused by a mutation on the PAH gene. The PAH gene is responsible for producing an enzyme that breaks down nutrients, such as an amino acid called phenylalanine, from foods into other important compounds needed for proper growth and development. Without that enzyme to process phenylalanine, toxic levels of those amino acids can build up. Nerve cells in the brain are particularly sensitive to phenylalanine levels, and brain damage can occur if excessive amounts accumulate. PKU is an autosomal recessive disorder. In other words, for an individual to display signs and symptoms of PKU, they need to inherit copies of the mutated PAH gene from each parent. If the child receives only one abnormal gene, they will be an asymptomatic carrier of PKU. Infants with PKU tend to appear normal at birth, and if properly treated, symptoms may not appear. However, untreated newborns with PKU will develop signs and symptoms within a few months. Symptoms can range from mild to severe. Classic PKU refers to babies with severe symptoms, while less severe forms of PKU refers to babies with moderate to mild symptoms. In general, signs and symptoms include a musty smell in the breath, skin, or urine caused by too much phenylalanine in the body, neurological problems that may include seizures, eczema, also known as skin rashes, abnormally small head, fair skin, hair, and eyes due to phenylalanine's involvement in producing melanin, the pigment responsible for skin and hair color, hyperactivity, delayed development, behavioral or social disorders, and damage to the brain and nervous system, which can lead to learning disabilities. All babies born in the United States and many other countries undergo newborn metabolic screening. This involves pricking an infant's heel to collect blood samples for testing. Doctors examine the blood for a multitude of conditions, one of which is PKU. If PKU is identified, treatment can start immediately. The two primary treatments for PKU include a diet with limited intake of protein and other foods that contain phenylalanine, and taking a supplement to ensure individuals are receiving all of the nutrients required for normal growth and development. Common foods to avoid or limit intake of may include milk, eggs, cheese, nuts, soybeans, beans, chicken, beef, pork, and fish. However, the amount of these foods a person should limit depends on each person, and it can change over time. A genetics doctor will be able to help guide an individual toward the proper diet. In addition to a special diet, treatment and management practices include frequent blood tests, therapies, and medication. This video was brought to you by PathCT and funded by the New England Regional Genetics Network, NERGIN. In addition, we'd like to credit the National Human Genome Research Institute, the National Organization for Rare Disorders, Medline Plus, and the Mayo Clinic for the information shared in this video. We would also like to thank Stephen Cofrancesco for composing original music for PathCT. If you'd like to stay in the loop, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media, where you'll get updates on future episodes and other programs. Thank you.